is truly a day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. If you all would just help us out to uplift the Lord in praise, praise him however you want to, but don't forget about what God has done for you. Amen. Jesus! 
Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Right now we're going to welcome the Holy Spirit into this place. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus.
for the hand praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is so worthy this morning. Amen. We thank God, amen, for just being back into the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. And right now we're going to have our welcome. Amen. And we ask that if we have any visitors, would you please stand? Amen. That means if we ain't got no visitors, everybody is family. Amen. Everybody is family. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And we just like to thank God. Amen. For our pastor and first lady. Amen. And we welcome you to Good Hope on this morning. Amen. Even if you didn't want to stand, if you did want to stand. Amen. A little afraid. Amen. But we ask you that each and every Sunday. Amen. We have Sunday service beginning at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Sunday school, morning worship beginning at 11 a.m. Amen. Tuesday night, women in power circle, Bible study, men Bible study at 7.30 Wednesday night. Amen. We have Bible study. And Friday afternoon, we have Bible study. So the word is always here. We have no reason to die and go to hell because the word is always in good hope. Amen. But I just thank God, amen, for everything that he's doing and everything he's yet going to do. Amen. Y'all seem too quiet for me. Why don't you just stand up and give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. Because God kept you. Somebody didn't make it from last Sunday to this Sunday. Amen. But see that God done kept you. He done brought you through. Some of us was feeling bad in our bodies. Amen. But we still was able to come and give God some glory. Give God some honor. And give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. We always ought to come into the house of the Lord. Amen. With a joyful heart. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to get ready for our announcements. Amen. From the balcony. Welcome to our worship service on today, where the Holy Spirit is always in charge. These are our upcoming church and community announcements for the week. Bus transportation is available. You can call the church at 770-787-4928, leave a message, or call Reverend Dr. Audrey McClay at 773-844-2020, no later than Saturday by 7 p.m. for Sunday morning pickup. Attention to all the ladies of Good Hope Baptist Church. If you would like to be a part of the 2020 Women's Day Committee, please contact Pamela Johnson or Lady Stephanie Tomlinson. Check out our new website at www.ghbchurch.com and our new YouTube channel, Good Hope Baptist Church, Covington, Georgia. Good Hope Baptist Church Weekly Bible Study Guide, Tuesday, Men's Empowerment Bible Class, 7.30 p.m., Good Hope Baptist Church Sister Circle Bible Study, 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, Midweek Bible Study, 7.30 p.m. Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 7, Genealogy of Noah's Descendants, verses 8 through 17, Namra the Nighty Hunter, verses 18 through 21, The Family of Canadis, verses 22 through 31, The Children of Shem. Friday, exploring the scriptures with Reverend Thomason at 12 noon. The Good Hope Baptist Church Classic Ministry invites you to join us Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. For more information, call Sister Linda Bouquet at 678-773-9071. Our worship services are now streaming live on Facebook, so tell your friends to be sure to like us. Be a cheerful giver. You are, use our kiosk located in the vestibule today or download our app Give Plus on all your devices in your app store. The Next Level Giving campaign is going strong. If you have already pledged, thank you as you continue to give. If you have not pledged, please do. It's not too late. Envelopes and pledge scores are in the pews. The Voices of Hope Choir of Anniversary will be set Sunday, October 20th, 2019 at 3 p.m. Everyone is invited to come celebrate this exciting event as they sing praises to our Most High God. The Good Hope Baptist Church Music Arts and Drama Ministry is getting ready 
and beginning preparations for the 2019 Christmas presentation scheduled for Saturday, December 14th. Reverend Fretwell is extending an invitation to everyone, especially Good Hope members and friends of all ages that has a talent, including singing, dancing, acting, etc., to become involved in this very exciting holiday production. Additional information will be forthcoming. Good Hope will have its general business conference on Saturday, October 26. Pastor is asking that all Good Hope members be present. The United Fellowship Outreach Fall Festival will be Saturday, October 19, 2019 at the Covington Legion Field Fairground located at 3183 Mill Street, Covington, Georgia from 2 p.m. until 6 p.m. Admission is free, so gather your family and go have some fun. All Good Hope related announcements and sick and shut in notifications should be turned into to Rita Harris by 6 p.m. each Wednesday to be announced during our worship services. One, you can submit your ministry announcements to her in writing. Two, you can call the church at 770 787 4928 and leave a detailed message. Three, you can text information to 770-885-8311. Send an email to goodhope.baptistch at att.net. And remember, all announcements are subject to approval and modification. Prayers for comfort and healing to Sister Joanne Sims and Mother Annie Robbie. Condolences to the family of our friend, Deacon Charlie John Eubanks. Funeral arrangements are incomplete at this time, but you can contact Lester Lackey and Sons Funeral Home for additional information. Our weekly birthday for October 2019. for thought. Do not tell someone about your good side to make them stay. Tell them your worst side and see who stays. That concludes our announcements for this week. Be blessed and have a great week, everyone. Amen. Come on to give the Lord a hand. Praise. Amen. And let us all be governed according to our announcement. Amen. Now we have a special announcement from Joshua Bent. is to help Joshua send, help send Joshua to the World Karate Championship. Hello, family and friends. My name is Tanika Hendricks Benton, and I'm the daughter of Forrest and Vera Lowe Hendricks and the granddaughter of the late Mrs. Hazel Lowe and Mr. Zena Hendricks, Deacon Zena Hendricks. I'm reaching out to everyone because of my son Joshua has qualified to represent the United States in Newton County and Walton Counties in the up and coming 2019 World Karate and Kickboxing Championship competition in Niagara Falls, New York, in this November. The Royal Karate and Kickboxing Council is an organization dedicated to MET sport martial arts. Teams from around the world will be participating in this competition to become world champions. Joshua is very excited about this opportunity and is doing everything to have this wish come true. He has been an A and B student from kindergarten to current third grade. He exceeds in quest programs for gifted standards, and his performance profile for the OWL assessment in world work analysis is 99 percentile, for mathematics 93 percentile, for reading and language 96 percent, for arts. Joshua is a 2018 national champion in fighting forms and weapons in the All-Star Karate League. He is also involved in different community services such as Feed the Hungry and Homeless, Nursing Home Visit, Donating to local food banks, and many more. Joshua is raising funds to be able to compete in curling 
currently is seeking financial sponsorship. He is the grandson of the late Zeni Hendrix. All donations are greatly appreciated, and you can make your donations through my GoFundMe account on Facebook. It's under my name, Tanika Hendrix. Also, it's at bb and under Joshua's name, Joshua Benson. Thank you for all your donations or blessings. Amen. Amen. And if anyone would like to help Joshua, please do. Amen. Amen. And we would like to make the announcements for our MGM program for September the 6th, actually for the whole month of September. We got Bryant Clock the second, all A's and B's, Brianna Clock, all A's and B, Malaysia Cole, all A's, Paige Jones, all A's and B's, Elena Jackson, all A's, Sade Oakley, all A's, Christian Lewis, all A's, and Elijah Cole, all A's. And we have Ariana Card, all A's and B's, second year of college in a BA conference. Uh, at Vohees College, September the 9th through the 21st, all the expenses paid by Vohees. So she has a ride, amen, at Vohees College. So let's give her a hand, amen. And this is her second year with Vohees. And if I didn't call your child's name, amen, on this list, we need for you each month that your child or each week that your child get their progress report or their report card. Please turn it in to me or Miss Linda. Amen. And their name will be on here. Amen. It's not that we're overlooking everybody, but we have to have everything either text to us or bring it to us on a Sunday. Amen. And then your child's name will be on this program. Amen. Now we're going to get ready for our announcements. Uh, I'm sorry. Now we're going to get ready for our offering. We're asking our deacons come around. Don't play with me with the hair. <laughs> amen. And while the deacons are coming around, amen. Our, the fall festival, amen, that's taking place by the Ministers Union will be this Saturday, October the 19th. Amen. So bring all your children. Amen. Everything is free. And Good Hope will have a tent out there. Amen. So everybody can come and enjoy themselves. We're going to ask that everyone stand. Thank you, Jesus. Hold your tithes and offering up. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we come before you thanking you for this day. God, we want to thank Lord Jesus for everyone, oh God, that's giving back to you, God. We ask right now that you touch, oh God, Lord, let it be action, God. Let us have that active faith this day, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let us give from the goodness of our heart, not grudgingly, God, but Lord, let us give with love, God, in order we thank you. God, we thank you because you're opening up windows of heaven, pouring out blessings that we won't have room enough to receive, God, but you begin to move in the midst of everyone that's giving today. Lord, we thank you for the ones that desire to give but don't have to give. Oh, God, you increase to the next time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be directed by the usher at the back.
listen, hey, hey, you gotta hang when your back's against the wall, you gotta hang when it seems our hope is lost, see I'm a witness and I'll hold you up, and in the process to fill your cup, so I'm not worried, hey, I'm not scared, I'm gonna trust in him, like my pastor said, this is a message to the devil, you can't have my faith, cause we gon' make it by, by his yeah, grace, you got church say amen. amen come on let's give God a hand clap of praise amen come on let's give God a hand clap of praise come on let's praise God amen 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 this is another day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it Amen. We come giving honor to the Spirit of Christ and to all of you. It's good to see all of you this morning. We thank God for you. Amen. I need y'all to do something for me this morning. Wherever you are, I need you to just stand. Just stand. Amen. Now, while you're standing, I need you to move. I need everybody to come right here. Everybody. 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 Come on in tight as you can. as you can. We bring everything to the altar. And I'm asking you, good hope, that you bring good hope to the altar. Amen. Amen. That is a word, and you read it when you get home. I'm, I ain't going to be long. That is a word in the book of Romans. Now, if you've got some bad knees now, and there's a front pew there, you just, amen. I just, the Spirit just said, you need to be at the altar this morning for this. In the book of Romans, in chapter 8, and verse 28, and it says, And we know. Can 
Can I just walk through that for a minute? And we know. And we know. You, in order to know, you got to have a relationship with God. This no is not something that you get from a book. This no is not something you can learn in a classroom. This no is uh, having a relationship with God. And after having walked with God, I know some stuff. I know some stuff. I know some stuff. Because I have walked with God. That all things work together for good to them that love God to them that are called are the called according to his purpose God is working some stuff out I would have talked to you this morning about God is at work God is at work God is working some things out if, if, if you ever had a bad day, if you ever uh, had a day when you just didn't know what to do and you just didn't know how things was going to work out, if when you just didn't know how you were going to make it through your day, the book of Romans in chapter 8 is a good place to start. But when you read chapter 8 of Romans, it ought to uplift your spirits. When you read chapter 8 of Romans, it ought to put a spring in your step. It ought to put clapping in your hand. It ought to put joy in your heart because Paul says, oh, I know that all things work together for good. He didn't say all things would be good. He just said, I know all things work together for good irregardless as to what I'm going through right now. I know it all is working for my good. It's all working for my good. God is working some things out. God is at work in my life. Now don't get, to, don't get it twisted now just because you've been saved, just because you feel with the Holy it goes just because you call yourself a Christian does not mean that there will not be some sin in your life does not mean there will not be some suffering in your life amen because uh, Paul says here if you start in chapter 1 and go up through chapter 8 Paul introduces himself and then he immediately jumps into this whole business of sin he said now all of us have sinned amen and come short of the glory of God now Paul said I'm not just talking about y'all I'm talking about myself too because I've done some stuff I got some stuff messed up in my life I, I got some bones in my claws and I all of us are not what we ought be all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God look what Paul says he said but he said the wages of sin amen can I put a pen there for a moment and tell you real quickly that when you sin you get paid for you got to earn the wages of sin but he said but watch this he said the wages of sin hmm, is death but oh you ready you ready the, the, the gift of God is eternal life amen so don't you start looking at folk funny like you ain't never messed up like you ain't never done anything wrong I tell you all the time if the truth be told everybody in here is an ex something you ain't been saved all your life you messed up somewhere but thanks be to God oh I like the way Paul puts it at the end of chapter 7 he said thanks be to God even when I messed up even when I've done wrong look look what God does look what God there is no condemnation mm. so don't you go talking about what I did yesterday don't don't talk about what I did last year don't talk about what I did 10 years ago because the word tells me Tomlinson even though you've sinned and you messed up there is no condemnation no condemnation and then 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 Paul said now watch this in here there is some suffering 
in here there is some suffering I know, now I told you earlier if you get tired of standing just sit down but, but you need to be here for this because I don't care how long you've been saved I don't care how holy you are I don't care how long you've been in the church there is some suffering going to take place Paul says this suffering the suffering of this present time, the suffering of this present age, it is not, I, I reckon. Oh, I like the way Paul uses that thing. He said, I reckon. That's, a, that's an accounting term when you, when you balance this over here against this over here. And I reckon. Hmm. It, it's not worthy. It's not worthy of the glory that shall be. In other words, I'm trying to tell you, good hope God is at work. God is working some stuff out. It may not look like it, but God is working some stuff out. God is working on some of y'all right now. Oh, you came to the altar this morning, but God is, is right here working some stuff out. And I thank God that he is. That he is at work. Paul said, I got to endure some suffering. I got to endure some suffering. But that's all right. Because I know who I am. He said, I'm an heir. And I'm joint heir with Jesus Christ. And you know what an heir is, don't you? If you are an heir, that means that you can expect something. That means you got something coming. If you are an heir, you have access to something and I thank God that I'm an heir of his because I have access to something if I need a little joy I have access to it if I need a little glory I got access to it if I if I need a little happiness I got access to it because I'm an heir have you ever been in a moment in your life when you didn't know how to pray when you didn't know what to pray for when you didn't want to pray but look what Paul says Say he, his spirit is an intercessory for us he intercesses for us and when we don't know how to pray when we can't pray he, his spirit intercesses for us for he knows our hearts he knows our minds and he knows what we need even before we can ask him and then Paul said I'm, I'm, so I'm not worried about my suffering I'm not worried, I'm not concerned about my suffering. But then, there's another thing that Paul talks about here. To help us understand that all things work. All things work. All things work together for the good unto them that are called according to his purpose. Paul said, now there is some separation. There is some separation. Paul said, now I know who I am. I'm an heir. And I'm joint heirs with Jesus Christ. I know I done messed up in my life. I've done some sinning in my life. But since I know that I know what I know. Paul says, now there's nothing that shall separate me from the love of Christ. I noticed the way Paul put that he didn't call these things things in the in the beginning. He used a per, he used a personal pronoun. He said, "Who shall separate us from the love of Christ?" And then he gives some illustrations. He says, "Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine?" or dark or, or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long and we are counted as sheep for the slaughter but then look what Paul says in verse 38 he said nay in all these things we are more than conquerors I told you once upon a time that that, 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 that was a oh, in Rome that there was a mountain climbing when they got to the peak of that mountain, they would stand on the peak of that mountain and say, I am a conqueror. But then when they came back down, they put on some backpacks and they climbed that mountain again. And when they got there with all of that weight on their back, 
when they got to the peak again, he stood there and declared, I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. So with all the weight on your back, with the weight of the world on your shoulder, when you get to your peak, you ought to stand there boldly and tell the world, I'm more than a conqueror. And nothing shall separate me from the presence of the Lord. Look what Paul said. Paul said, I'm persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels or principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord that's all God told me to tell you this morning that he is at work he is at work he is at work he's working some things out he's at work and because he is at work your not yet look better than your right now. So stop looking at your right now because there is some not yet stuff that God is working on. He's working some things out. God is at work. God is at work. God is at work. And so whatever that stuff you got, The writer said, lay aside every weight and sin that so easily beset us. And then run this race with patience. If you ain't got no stuff going on in your life, will you do this for you? I, I told you this morning that we need to come to the altar for good hope this morning. For all those ills that you have about good hope, will you leave them at the altar? All those ills that you have about somebody in good hope with you leave them at the altar Paul said I, I know what I used to be I know what I was about but over in the book of Philippians Around chapter 3, he said, now, now I'm able to do something. He said, I'm able to forget all of that stuff that is behind me. That's where it is. It's behind me. But now I'm pressing toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Will you bow your head, take somebody by the hand where you are? He's working it out. He's working it out. He's working it out. Whatever, whatever it is, he's He's working it out. For I know that all things work together for good.
Spirit just told me to tell you, it's going to be all right. Whatever, it, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for working on our behalf. Father, we thank you for working right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for working. Thank you for working. Thank you for working. Somebody's on that sick bed. Thank you for working. Somebody's on their way to an operating room. Thank you for working. Somebody's on their way home right now because of your work. Thank you for working. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. You may not see it right now, but go on and thank him in advance. If he hadn't worked it out for you yet, go ahead and thank him in advance. He's working. He's working. He's working. He's working right now. He's working right now. He's working right now. Come on, tell him thank you. On your way home, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you. Oh, say it like you mean it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell him thank you, thank you. That's our benediction. I'm done. I ain't got nothing else to tell you. Oh, thank you. I just want to thank you. Come on, tell him again. Tell him again. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord.